Probably, creativity is one of the most important skills we need to thrive in our careers and life, yet it's the toughest one to nurture. Andre Huberman, a neuroscientist at Stanford, said that we can actually become more creative with conscious effort. He stated that by engaging in both divergent thinking and convergent thinking, we can generate multiple ideas from a single concept. Today, I will explain what is divergent thinking and how we can effectively take notes using the mind map method to cultivate it in an obsidian. So, what is divergent thinking? Divergent thinking refers to a thought process that involves generating a wide range of ideas, possibilities, or solutions that branch out in different directions. According to Huberman, the process can be described as follows. Take one stimulus and try to ready out from it, exploring as many different situations, properties, characteristics, events, and things as possible. This involves exploring ideas that you already have in your library. So if you don't have your digital library or analog library, start today, start PKM today. Based on this, I have broken down the process into more granular steps for easier understanding. First, start with a single idea or topic. Second, try to expand and explore as many different situations, properties, characteristics, events, and things as possible. Third, review your exploration to identify other networks or connections that you have not discovered yet, which may lead to better ideas or insight. I will show you how I apply these steps using Obsidian Canvas in the later part of this video. Now, let me explain what is the mind map first. So, mind map is a visual diagram that allows you to organize and represent information in a nonlinear and interconnected way. It is a graphical tool that helps capture and visualize your thoughts, ideas, concepts, and other form of information. Of course, there are community plugins or other software that you can do mind mapping. However, my philosophy with PKM is to keep it simple and minimal, so I want to shed a light on our relatively new core feature, Canvas. I think Obsidian team names this feature really well. This is a blank canvas that you can bring anything, notes, images, videos, links into it and freely explore through them. It's like a blank canvas that you can put in your own sketches and colors for your paintings. It's a such flexible tool so that I observe that people use it for their displaying dashboards, brainstorming ideas, or even researches. Yeah, today's focus for us is mind mapping. So let's look at how to get familiar with this feature. There are three different types in Canvas. Cars, notes, and media assets. Cars only exist on the current Canvas, so this card will not be found in our vault until we convert it into a note. So let's say I want to convert this mind map into a note, say convert into a file, and my map definition. Now, if I click on expand this one, I can see this content in our vault as a note. And let's come back to it. I usually use card to scribble notes or outlining content, but when, when I'm not sure, I want to save into the vault or not yet. To create a card, just click this, the leftmost one, and start making notes. And later, you can connect these cards like this if you have any connections. Next, notes already existing in Vault and can be referenced from a canvas. I use notes when I already have content that I want to bring into Canvas I'm currently working on. To do so, 
click this middle one and I'll just bring a random thing here like this and the third thing is media uh, we can we can split media into two different categories external medias and internal medias external medias are videos or articles or any outer links uh, that will be open in Safari or other software. I'll show you how I bring external links for videos or articles into this canvas. First, open up the browser and try to find the video you want to save into this canvas. Copy URL back to Obsidian and simply paste here. Obsidian Canvas not only shows its thumbnail, uh, but also uh, we can play this video inside the canvas like this. How about the article? Go back to browser and try to find that you want to save. Copy URL, coming back to Obsidian, and then paste down here again. Now I can read and scroll down inside the canvas. And lastly, if you think a few cars or notes can be working as a bigger concept, you can group them together in the canvas. So here, as an example, I'll try to do this note. and right click and create a group now this will be moving as a one piece like this okay and as a tip you can use the shift one uh, to zoom to fit so let's say I do shift one, then it shows the whole picture of this canvas. Uh, it might zoom out a little bit of your content, so you may not see the specific uh, information in each card or note, but it will give you hawk eye. And if you wanna look at a specific one here, like uh, click it and shift two. Then we zoom into uh, the current card or the note you click. And I'll already show you how to hover and scroll up and down inside the link. Also, I will skip that one. Now we know the basic movements and tips about using Canvas. Let me show you how I would use this Canvas to explore ideas. Like I said earlier, start your mind map by placing a central idea or topic in the center of your canvas. This should be the main focus of your notes. And create branches radiating outward to represent different subtopics or related ideas. This helps you establish a clear structure or a hierarchy for your notes. And third, review your canvas to identify other networks or connections that uh, you haven't discovered yet. I'll show you how I use my maps for a newsletter that I started lately. I started with a single idea, how to become more performant person as a knowledge worker and creator. My newsletter will be composed of three different parts for boosting performance or effectiveness for my audience, system, mindsets, and learning. Based on these three pillars, I created color classifications for each pillar so that I can uh, visually understand better even when I have more notes in this canvas. So if I zoom to fit, I can still see red as a system related note and yellow as a learning related note and green as a mindset related note. From there, um, 
I created a card that shows the output of data query I made for each section. For example, I tried to query the notes that is related to mindset. With those output, I naturally start radiating out even further. So one of them was perfectionism. And as I think, trying to be perfect is the biggest obstacle to be more performant for most creators and knowledge workers. So I was researching about how to teach perfectionism. I wrote a full essay here. Then I started with the question that how Navy SEAL, which is the elite group, to produce the best outcome, outcome under such a stress situation they have to deal with. Like this, I was able to explore ideas those while keeping them in one canvas so that I can visit any time in the future and then using them as an as a element for my writing. So back to original content, I have few tips while you were working on your canvas as mind map. First, try to stick to short phrase or keywords. Second, use visuals. Mind, mind maps are meant to be visual and concise. And connect notes, try to link other ideas together and explore them. And lastly, periodically review and update the maps so you can use it at your disposal. Today, I cover how to use Canvas as a mind map for your own creative process. Since most of us used to linear thinking, I'm sure you will be ahead of your game if you can nurture your creativity through nonlinear thinking process using Obsidian Canvas. Thanks for watching this video.